We can envision a world where epilepsy is as manageable a disease as asthma. As well supported and well researched as heart attacks. And without the social stigma that comes with it. In an ideal future for epilepsy, a child with epilepsy, for example, they would go from having their first seizure to having their family or their friends recognize that it's a seizure. The parents know to get that child to a medical practitioner promptly and for the medical practitioner to recognize epilepsy and start the diagnostic pathway. This child would then receive all the medication they need and they would have a support system to help them adhere to the medication and receive any other treatment that they need. In an ideal future, um, a life for someone with epilepsy would be a life like someone without epilepsy. People with epilepsy have the same potential as anyone else who doesn't happen to have epilepsy. And that's how the condition should be viewed. And that's how the field should work to empower the lives of people with epilepsy so that everyone can achieve their full potential. But a first step is getting that diagnosis so that they can be um, entered into a, uh, an appropriate treatment plan. Epilepsy affects 50 million people worldwide. 80 to 85 percent of whom live in resource poor settings. So the diagnostic gaps, treatment gaps, psychosocial impact of the condition and the condition not really being well understood, well researched, well funded or properly appreciated at a global scale are the main problems. In Zimbabwe for instance, um, a couple of years ago there was one neurologist in the country. So you have a country of 15 million people and you have one neurologist working there and now you have two. So you can see the enormity of the problem right there. A lot of the people that have epilepsy and haven't been diagnosed or it's not recognized as epilepsy face a lot of issues within their community. And it affects people across their life course. So epilepsy is a condition that can start in childhood. You might be told that you shouldn't be in a classroom with other children. Difficulties with employment, difficulties in relationships. Stigma has a huge impact on people with epilepsy all over the world. The Oxford Martin Program on Global Epilepsy brings together three work streams of specialists who don't normally work together. And in tandem with that, we bring together multiple field sites of specialists who don't normally work together. Our partners, which includes Brazil, India, Kenya, South Africa and Zimbabwe, have been absolutely fantastic. There has to be true engagement with the communities that the programme is trying to serve. We can't move forward with the technology development or understanding how uh, technology or interventions are going to be accepted or appreciated unless we have that kind of grounding first. So one innovation of this project is to really embed oral history into the larger project and that's allowing us to kind of underpin all the other aspects of the project with this kind of deeper understanding of people's lives. We're developing a, a portable EEG system whereby EEG for which people would normally come to a hospital can now be taken in a backpack to remote setting. We're also developing a whole suite of apps. These are educational apps and medication management as well as a decision support tool that will pair with the EEG device that we're developing. The key thing that we want to do is to be able to roll out the technology and the ideas at scale and really try and close those diagnostic gaps. Once that's done, we're going to try and close the treatment gap. There's a lot of scope for more research and more understanding and that makes it so interesting. Our aim is to really use the Oxford Martin programme to leverage into a very large space. We'd certainly welcome people to get in touch with us directly through the Oxford Martin School. Share this video. Read our website, go read our publications, read more about our team. Fundamentally epilepsy is a treatable condition.